Creating high quality product photos for e-commerce or marketing can be time consuming and expensive. But what if AI could do it for you, generating realistic lifestyle product images in seconds? Today, I'm going to show you how to use an AI powered tool that gives you access to over 140 different models, including Kling AI, one of the top rated image to video models. Runway ML, known for ultra realistic AI generated videos. Minimax, HiLuo, a powerful AI model for creative video generation. Stable Diffusion, a flexible open source model for image and video generation, Ideogram. One of the best AI models for text-based image generation. But in this tutorial, we're focusing on something game-changing for e-commerce and content creation. The Lifestyle Product Photo Generator. With this model, you can take a plain product image and turn it into a stunning, professional-looking lifestyle shot. Without expensive photo shoots or stock images, this is a huge advantage for businesses, marketers, and anyone looking to enhance product visuals effortlessly. And the best part? You don't need to jump between multiple platforms to test different models. With just one API key, you can access all of these tools in one place using SegMeme, saving you time, effort, and money. Now let's take a look at two real examples of what this workflow can do. I started with a simple product image, just a plain product on a white background. Using the Lifestyle Product Photo Generator, I transformed it into a photorealistic lifestyle image, where the product is naturally placed in a dynamic, engaging environment. Example 1. Before, a plain product image of a wine bottle on a white background. After, a high-quality image featuring a man in a red suit holding the wine bottle in a luxurious restaurant setting. Example 2. Is a man holding the same bottle of wine? In this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to integrate this AI model into N8N, automate the process, and start generating high-quality product images in seconds. Before we dive into how this workflow works, you don't have to build it from scratch. This lifestyle product photo generator workflow is available in my school community, Automation Tribe. To access it simply, go to my school community. Head to the classroom section. Download the workflow file. Now, let's get it into N8N. Open N8N and create a new workflow. Click on the three small dots in the top right corner. Select Import from File and upload the downloaded workflow. Once imported, you'll see the full workflow ready to go. Now, let's break down each node and explain what it does. Trigger, when clicking Test Workflow. This manually starts the workflow when you click the Test Workflow button. The first HTTP request node in your workflow is responsible for sending a request to SegMind's API to generate a lifestyle product image. Let's break down how to set it up step by step. To configure the HTTP request node, you first need to set the method to post since we are sending data to SegMind's API for processing. Next, you will need the URL, which you can find on the API tab of the Lifestyle Product Photo Generator page in SegMind. This URL serves as the endpoint that processes your request and generates the lifestyle product image. In the authentication section, leave it set to none, as SegMind uses an API key for authentication, which we will include in the headers later. Since we are making an API request, ensure that send query parameters remains off, as we will be sending our data through the request body instead. Once these settings are configured, you're ready to move on to adding your API key and defining the request body which will contain details such as the product image and the prompt to generate the lifestyle scene. To authenticate your request, you need an API key from SegMind. This key acts as a secure token that allows you to send requests and access the lifestyle product photo generator model. To find your API key, navigate to the SegMind dashboard, then click on the Developer tab. If you already have an API key, you will see it listed there. If not, simply click the new API key button to generate one. Make sure to copy and store this key securely, as it will be required for all API interactions. Once you have your API key, go back to N8N and enable Send Headers in the HTTP request node. Here, you will need to add a header parameter where the name should be XAPA key, and the value should be your SegMind API key. 
This ensures that each request you send is authenticated and processed correctly by the API. To set up the request body, you need to provide the required data in JSON format, which includes details about the product image and the scene you want to generate. First, you'll need to enter a product image URL. This should be a direct link to an image file hosted on a publicly accessible server. Do not use links from Google Drive or Dropbox, as these services do not provide direct file access required by the API. Instead, upload your image to a hosting service that allows direct image retrieval and paste the URL into the product image field. Next, you'll need to add a prompt that tells the AI how to generate the scene. This is where you can customize the lifestyle scenario based on your needs. For example, you might enter something like, generate an image with a man in a red suite holding a bottle of vine. Feel free to modify the prompt to fit the type of product and setting you want. The more descriptive and detailed your prompt, the better the AI can create a realistic image. You can also specify a product type, which helps categorize the image generation process. For example, if you're working with a wine bottle, you would enter wine in the product type field. This step is optional, but can help improve accuracy for certain categories. Additionally, you can include a seed value in the seed field. This ensures that the same input settings generate a consistent output each time you run the workflow. If you don't provide a seed, the AI will generate a different variation of the image each time you make a request. Once you've entered these details, your request body is ready, and the API will use this information to generate a high-quality lifestyle product image based on your specifications. To ensure the AI-generated lifestyle image is fully processed, I've added a wait node with a 300-second delay. This gives Segmind enough time to generate the image before we retrieve it. Instead of using a loop, which repeatedly checks the API until the image is ready, I opted for a simpler approach. A loop would make periodic API calls, reducing wait time if the image is ready sooner, but it adds complexity. By using a fixed wait time, the workflow remains easy to understand, ensuring that when we proceed, the image is fully generated and ready to use. After waiting for the image to be processed, the next step is to retrieve the final AI-generated lifestyle product image. This is done using another HTTP request node, but this time, the method is set to get instead of post. To fetch the completed image, we need to call the poll URL returned from the initial request. Instead of manually entering a fixed URL, we dynamically extract this from the API response using JSON poll URL. This ensures that each request retrieves the correct image corresponding to the original input. For authentication, we once again include the API key in the headers, just like before. No body parameters are needed as the request only needs the unique poll URL to check if the image is ready. Once executed, the API responds with a status update. If the image is still processing, it might return a queued status, meaning you need to retry after a short delay. If the status is completed, the response will contain a direct URL to the generated image, which can be used in further automation, stored in a database, or displayed wherever needed. The set node in this workflow is used to extract and store the final image URL from the API response, making it easier to use in further automation. Since the API returns a structured JSON response, we need to manually map the relevant data field. In this case, we use the following expression to pull the generated image URL. This ensures that we correctly extract the direct link to the AI-generated lifestyle product image. By setting this as the image URL field, we make it accessible for storing, sharing, or integrating into an e-commerce platform. The manual mapping mode allows us to precisely select only the needed information while keeping the workflow clean and organized. Once this node is set up, the final image URL is available for use in the next steps, whether it's saving it to a database, posting it on social media, or embedding it into an e-commerce website. If you need photorealistic marketing images but don't have Photoshop skills or a professional studio, this AI-powered workflow is a game changer. Download the workflow for my school community, Automation Tribe, and get started instantly. Just head to the classroom section, grab the workflow file, and import it into N8N. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.